So here we have the world's fastest processor in the world, not just the world's fastest ARM processor, the world's fastest processor in the whole world. Yeah? So hi, so who are you? Uh, I'm Ku Chirai. I'm in charge of uh, so software development for PostK. PostK, which is a, a, a Fuji... Fujitsu. Fujitsu's yeah, yeah. A, a supercomputer. Yeah, yes. And it's, this is right here. For the first time in the world, you show? This is a PCB with two. Yeah, you have two, two, two processors, yes. And uh, it's water-cooled. So, hello. So, who are you? Oh, my name is Masaki Arai. And what do you do? Oh, I'm a compiler developer. Developer like a, a, a software? Yes. So, software. And hi, so who are you? Oh, I'm Takehara Kato. I'm an uh, engineer in, uh, from Fujitsu. And I'm also uh, a signing engineer in Linaro. So you work uh, with Linaro for a while already, right? All right. Uh, to do all the Linux? Um, I, I'm, I'm involved in uh, uh, engaging the spread use of um, processing in HPC world. So uh, what is the CPU here? What is this uh, A64FX? Yes. So this is uh, how many core inside here? Um, 40, 48 uh, computer core and uh, four uh, assistant cores. Always uh, 52 cores. So you say 48 compute cores? Compute cores, yes. And? And four assistant cores. Assistant cores. Assistant cores. So uh, is this a custom design? Custom dis architecture? Yes, yes. Uh, I'm, I'm processor, uh, Fujitsu original processor. So uh, it's on the ARM V8.2? Yes. SVE. So can you explain? Yes. Uh, what does it say here? Uh, what is this SVE? What is SVE? Uh, SVE is scalar vector ex extension. Uh, is uh, uh, 512 bit wide CMD. Is very uh, wide length uh, CMD. So very wide CMD. Nobody do this before? This is the widest in the world? Yes. So. Uh, and there's a very fast uh, memory bandwidth. Yes. What is this? Memory one thousand. One. Yeah. Yes. One terabyte per second. Is, it is very fast. One terabyte per second. Uh, what is this showing here? Is this the architecture? Ah uh, yes. Uh, this is uh, uh, for CMZ. Uh, C uh, CMZ has uh, thirteen cores. Uh, Twelve. Uh, uh, calculate core and one uh, ascent core. Uh, this this connect uh, each uh, HBM HBM two uh, memories. What is this HBM two? HBM two is uh, very fast um, uh, core memory. Uh, each is uh, two hundred fifty six uh, bandwidth. Each one is 256. And bandwidth uh, per CMG. Uh, total is uh, one terabyte per second. And what is this tofu? Tofu to do what? Uh, tofu is uh, Fujitsu original interconnect. Very, very uh, fast too. Uh, this is uh, uh, six, uh, 6G uh, mesh and towards interconnect. Uh, this is uh, and, uh, two, uh, 28 gbps uh, and two lanes uh, and it has uh, 10 ports. 10 ports? Yes. And a 16 lanes PCIe Gen 3? Yes. So what Gen does it 3. mean? A lot, of, a lot of RAM? What does it mean? What is the PCIe for? Yes. Yeah. Um, PCIe. Uh, Post generation of yeah. PCI Express uh, 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 connect, uh, for IO connection. For IO, so it's networking or is RAM or no? It's networking, uh, right? Uh, mm. PCI um, mm. in our system, we use the PCI Express it, it's, uh, uh, connect, uh, for connection between the CPU and uh, uh, system board and uh, uh, storage devices. And uh, 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 all right, uh, devices. All right. So um, 
uh, how big is this? This big one. This big, oh, this big is big chips. Big chips, yes. Uh, how? This uh, this is a uh, seven nanometer film fit, and these have uh, s s thousand seven hundred eighty six million transistors in it. Eight thousand. Eight thousand mega transistors. So yes. eight, uh, nearly nine billion transistors. Right? Yes. Ah, I guess yes. Yeah. So nine billion transistors right here. Uh, and what is the consideration? How can a PCB be so small? Normally, PCB is bigger, no, for a server, for a supercomputer. Yes. Or what is the size? What's the size? <laughs> yeah. Small. Or small. Yes, it is very small. It is very compact. Yes. And what is it has? Here? It has yes two socket and it. This is uh, optimal devices in in this in uh, on this. The most compact, uh, super high, 52 core each, or what? Yes. Yeah, 120, 104 cores? Ah, uh, yes, it's on, on this board, yes. And uh, what people can do with this? It's like a supercomputer? Yes. What what will happen with this? Why is it so important? Important, ah, this is important. Uh, it's very fast, and a fast core and a fast network is very important. Yes. So it, uh, it will allow uh, exascale? Yes, nearly it's exactly. possible to yes, do exascale. Yes, scale. yes. That means uh, the fastest supercomputer in the world. In maybe, the world, maybe. Yes, maybe? I, I hope. How soon? How soon? <laughs> yes. How soon is maybe oh, yeah. available? How yes. soon is this uh, on the, on the market? Uh, 2020, 2020 uh, two quarter. Uh, second quarter of second 2020. Quarter, yeah, yes, second quarter 2020. But you show it here. So why is not ready now? What what you need to do? Is it working now? Yes, we're working, now. working now. We are we are testing in this uh, chip. And uh, what is the collaboration with Linaro? So what what do you do with Linaro? Linaro, yeah, uh, yeah. so we uh, collaborate uh, about uh, op OpenHPC and uh, S uh, compiler, a software com compiler software for SVE. So SV is a new new uh, yeah new, addition new architecture to yes. 8.2 8.2a can do this 8.2a SVE uh, architecture yes uh, what new is new new feature and the advantage of F SVE is uh, specifically for HPC market right yes uh, yes yeah. very very fast uh, and uh, very long SIMD. and uh, right here it says uh, so 2.7 teraflops for each chip. Yes, each One chip. chip. Yes, each chip. Yes. How does it compare with other chip? Who who is the closest number two? You know, what is a, a K K computer? Yes, K teraflops. K the, computer. The wow, ten, ten petaflops. Ten petaflops for the whole uh, or whole computer. systems. Yes, but each chip was. Uh, I chips is exactly. Uh, Maybe you have another slide. Yes. I don't know. So before it was a spark oh, yeah. based. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yes. Before uh, this is our uh, FX our supercomputer FX one hundred. This is one point one teraflops. And now uh, A sixty four FX is uh, two point seven teraflops. So and now it's before it was spark and now is now uh, is ARM. What is the main advantage for, to use ARM? Uh, ARM is uh, low power, and uh, we can uh, build uh, ecosystem. Uh, we can't build ecosystem in Spark because you were the only one, or oh, not yeah, so many people. Yes, yes. Yeah, but ARM, everybody is using. Yes, yes. So is it is it a good uh, ecosystem to work on the ARM? Right. Yeah, a lot of uh, collaboration with the, in the Linaro, right? Right. Um, we we are now uh, now we. Collaborate with you know, uh, in the compiler area uh, and uh, uh, mi uh, middleware, uh, so middleware software, um, uh, HPC soft uh, fundamental software uh, in open HPC project. Is everything working, or is a lot of work still to do? Uh, 
uh, it works uh, uh, it works now uh, uh, almost uh, uh, most of uh, uh, most of things which we should uh, do is uh, uh, we should do is uh, done uh, but we need uh, we need uh, improve them uh, m uh, more effectively or uh, more uh, uh, it's like optimization so optimization optimization for everything or for specifically for HPC process All right so now uh, Linaro has a HPC group right Right. So there's a lot of collaboration Fujitsu is doing there right. with HPC Group, and uh, um, so this, if if it becomes available, will be in Japan, or will be all over the world. Is this possible? First is in Japan, but we uh, we won't uh, sell to worldwide. But is yeah. this is this a similar ser uh, chipset that is can be used in a server, or is only for supercomputer? Um. Uh, now uh, uh, we don't have uh, a any plan to server now. But uh, I want, uh, but I want. <laughs> you want? To, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, but is it similar? No, the server d business uh, HPC is a similar kind of. Ah way. yes, a similar. Yes. It's a big chip. Yes. Can put uh, slightly different. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Yes. Right. Yes. And uh, this is seven nanometer. Yeah, seven nanometer uh, ch uh, chips. So, but uh, seven nanometer is very small. So, why is the chip so big? Yes, <laughs> that means you have so yeah, many yeah. things going on there, yeah. right? This this include uh, CPU core, uh, uh, fifty two uh, core and uh, interconnect chips and thirty two gigabyte uh, HBM two memories. Ooh, so uh, it's like uh, everything on package. One yes, package. Yes, one package. For everything, yes. And uh, how's Be the yield? No, I'm joking. But you don't know. Yet. <laughs> so, th so then, uh, hopefully, uh, there will be a supercomputer with many, many thousands of these. Yes. Or, hundred thousand of these. Or how big? How many you need to make exascale? You need uh, several hundred thousand, right? Same. So it's just yeah. like a, a exascale. Yeah, yeah, is, yeah. Is exascale. A, yes. Uh, you need, uh, I don't know, um, uh, one million of these, so uh, 300,000, something like this. You need many, many, many? Many, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, in one okay. building. Yes. And then it will solve many things, like weather, weather forecasting. Uh, weather, weather forecasting, at, uh, medicine, and uh, uh, car engineering. Engineering, yes. uh, space? Space, uh, yes, space, space. and uh, airplane. And uh, physics, physics, uh, earthquake. Ooh. Yeah, yes, earthquake is big deal. Yeah, right? deal. Yes. In Japan, also yes. people want to know. Tsunami is very, very yeah. squared. All right, cool. All right, mm. so this will definitely, uh, if it comes out, will be faster than Trump's supercomputer, right? Mm. Be fast, I mean, I'm just a little bit joking, but faster than <laughs> faster than the U.S., faster than China. Yes. It will be Japan number one. Yes. Okay. <laughs> cool.